Hi everyone, welcome to another iPhone app review. Today we're taking a look at flight control. First of all, you'll get to choose an airfield. You've got five different airfields to choose from. And once you choose your airfield, we'll go ahead with the basic one here. You'll notice that each airfield has a different number of runways. On this one, you've got one long runway, a short runway, and a heliport. And as planes come on the screen, they're going to have to land on very specific runways, the bigger planes on the longer runway, and so forth. You can also tell by the color of the plane. You'll notice those planes were purple, the same color as the runway. And then once you give them their path to land, then they turn white so that you know those already have a path to land. And you keep doing that. Now down in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, there's a little fast-forward button if things are moving too slow for you, which they might at the very beginning. After a little while, they probably won't be. So obviously right now it's pretty easy, but as we go on and it gets more difficult, you've got tons of planes on the screen. Sometimes you just have to direct them away from another plane to keep catastrophe from occurring. I have to tell you, this is a very, very addictive game. Uh, probably my favorite game of the second half of 2010 that we've looked at. Now, this it's been around for a little while, but this is version 1.9. This integrates with Game Center. You can check the leaderboard and achievements. It's not uh, as robust of Game Center integration as some games, but if you're used to titles using Open Faint, for example, and you just want to see how you're doing on a leaderboard, it's great for that. And it's the kind of game that you're playing it, and the next thing you know, a half hour or an hour has gone by because you just want to try it just one more time. That's a quick look at flight control for the iPhone and iPod Touch. There's an iPad version available as well. For the digitallifestyle.tv, I'm Ryan Ritchie.